Hello everybody, so time to work on this water tower somewhere. Last episode you've seen how we made the tower a little bit less wide so that now the barrels fit very nicely and snugly. Yes, I'm gonna be adding these later so the barrels don't roll around, but of course I'm gonna make them bigger so that they actually fit. But that's not what we're doing today. Today I'm gonna move the tower out of the way remove the gravel and then start digging because I want to pour a little concrete slab. I want to make a nice little concrete floor for the tower to stand on that way it's going to be very sturdy nice and level and it will hold the weight very nicely. Of course we have to start by taking the barrels out moving the tower getting that little floor away and then start digging the gravel to put it somewhere else. Because the gravel I'm, I am going to be using again, but the grass and dirt that's underneath the gravel has to go. Oh yeah, let me just show you, here's the concrete I bought. So I already got that ready, but I don't think I will be pouring it today though, because that seems like a lot of work. <laughs> so let's get started. Right, everything is removed, time to shovel away that gravel. All right, as you can see, the gravel is gone. Now I need to measure out where my concrete slab is going to be. I hope you can see it on camera, but I put lines on the floor. Of course my country concrete slab is a certain size but I made it four centimeters bigger in every direction because we're gonna have to put planks in there so the concrete becomes nice and straight. So of course I made it a bit bigger to compensate for the size of the planks I'm, I'll be using later. But now the next step is to dig out this dirt and make it all nice and level. Well, as you can see here, I have made the area that I wanted to for the concrete. I put in gravel and I have made it all the correct distance. So I all made it water level and I took that log again and compressed the gravel in its place. So it's all nice and tight. It's not gonna move anymore. And now it should be ready for me to cut some pieces of wood to length that I can then use as a border for the concrete. This was a lot of hard work. <clears throat> I should also mention that this is my first time. I've never done this before. I've never put concrete on anything in my life. So I looked up a couple of YouTube videos on how to do it. And that's what, I'm, that's what I'm doing. I first dug out a space where I wanted it, made that as level as part of possible, compressed the dirt. Then I put on a layer of gravel, compressed that again, made sure it's all level. So, and that's all according to the YouTube videos I'm following. The next step is to make the wooden border. All right, gonna take a little bit of a break because this is hard work, I'm sweating, <laughs> and then continuing with the project. Just sitting outside here on my porch having some breakfast, some cornflakes and milk and get visited by a beautiful little lizard. 
That's awesome. I love living in nature. All right, there we are. We've got the wooden frame in. It is, the corners are 90 degrees and it is all level. So now I know exactly how to pour the concrete. Of course, you see a little tiny hole there and I don't want the concrete all to disappear behind my house. So I'm gonna do a, something about that later. But I'm not gonna do that on video because that's boring stuff. But uh, yeah, that's it for today. Um, I completed my hole. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching this episode. See y'all in the next one. Oh. See y'all in the next one. Bye. Please like and subscribe. And if you want to support us or just want something that Li Hao has made, you can buy this little notebook, Look for Stars. The links are in the description, all on Amazon, and you can buy them. See, you can make some beautiful notes in there. The video that just popped up, that one is, according to YouTube, something you will like. So try looking at that one. See you later. Bye.